Sage reporting for Calkine Media and thank you for joining us. Please stay watching for this trending news topic to follow. How do the changes in Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway portfolio support his value investing strategy? Warren Buffett bought his first shares at the age of 11, so it's no wonder he has exceeded expectations in wealth management and equities. Although he is wise enough to make the most of every opportunity that comes his way, he has been known to support a value investing strategy that buys undervalued stocks with the aim to hold on to them as their projects develop and increase in liquidity or popularity. Berkshire Hathaway have released their portfolio updates for the fourth quarter of calendar year 2020 and there have been some interesting changes. Many experts may agree that 2021's stock to watch is Apple Inc. It was seeing all-time highs in January 2021 and reporting record-breaking quarter one results for 2021. So due to the spike in iPhone sales, China regaining momentum in sales growth which saw a decline to 15% in 2020 and the rate at which Apple's margins in operating costs and gross are expanding is also promising. So resulting in a 21% increase in revenue. So why did Berkshire Hathaway sell off $7.4 billion worth of Apple stock? And should investors be poised to do the same? Buffett is not an advocate of the herd mentality and instead favours founder centricism. His focus is on harnessing intrinsic value and in many cases may ignore short-term moves for more exponential value creation over time. Maybe just a coincidence, but since reducing Berkshire Hathaway's stakes in Apple, Inc. the share price has reduced by 9% from the January 2021 all-time highs. The company's shares can seem overvalued at present, which fundamentally is diametrically opposed to Warren Buffett's value stock strategy that usually support undervalued companies whose balance sheets don't match the attractiveness of Apple's capital returns and free flow cash generation. So Apple has pulled out and redeployed funds in Verizon, Chevron, Kroger, Abbey V and Bristol Myers, all trading at bargain low prices to past valuations, yet all having positive outlooks in relation to how the economy is scaling towards being more green energy conscious and digitized. It is often best thought to have a combined exposure to both value and growth stocks and to diversify across sectors to gain the most buoyancy out of your portfolio. But most of all, it is to be able to be ready to make the most out of every opportunity. As in the words of Warren Buffett, they come infrequently. Thank you for watching Sage here reporting for Calkine Media.